and there's no other way. If you stay into this place of good and bad, you suffer and you never get anywhere until one day you pop out of it. But then again, no one needs to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to say you're right or you're wrong. Everyone's entitled to their opinion and the way they want to be and how they want to pursue their spiritual path and development. I'm not here to convince anybody. This is what I discovered in my own journey. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you asking that question. Do we have any other questions, uh, Mr. Amir? Right. To go beyond the duality, duality is in the mind. The mind creates the duality because it's only in your mind. It's only in the thoughts that you exist. Your entire existence that you believe that you are somebody, a person separated from the good and the bad, it derives from a thought. That's all it is. Your entire existence all your idea of who you are, it's just a thought. That's all it is. It's the I thought. I am separated. I am a person. If your mind stops and you have no thoughts, then there is no notion and concept of being separated from anything. All those bad things and dark things are become an aspect of yourself. That's why I think on our first session, the first day, last Saturday, I brought a quote from Osho, Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. The first time in 1989, when my beautiful brother Ernest gave me the book, I think it was called The Path of the Heart or The Way of the Heart. So I, he gives me this book. I open it up. I'm looking at the first page. And the first sentence in this book said, I am all there is beautiful. I am all there is ugly. I am total. And I was shocked when I read this because I had heard about this incredible master, Osho, so controver controversial, but this big time, bigger than life guru teacher. And he's saying, I'm all there is beautiful. I'm all there is ugly. I am total. And in that moment, I felt like I literally experienced somebody punched me in my third eye as if somebody hit me. And I was like, pooh, and I fell down. I literally fell. Luckily, I was standing right in front of my bed in my bedroom and I fell down on the bed. I was gone. I don't know for how long I was gone. But it was like something triggered something inside me. Even though I was a baby, it was just the beginning of my spiritual awakening. Didn't know anything. What do you mean I'm all there is beautiful? I am all there is ugly. It took a long time for me to encounter my darkness. I had to see my darkness. And I had to see my light, that they both coexist simultaneously in this man. Both sides simultaneously living here. We're all endowed by the power of being 
an angelic and an enlightened being were in the same time endowed by being an evil being. Simultaneously, were capable of evil actions as well as angelic and loving actions. People say power corrupts. It's power that corrupts you. So let's say you put me in the place of Hitler. I am in that position. I'm in the position of a tyrant. I'm in the position of same position as someone, Stalin, or all these people who came to this planet and killed millions of innocent people and brought misery, or put you in that position. You're in that position all of a sudden. And people say it's power that corrupts you. So we put you in that position and now this monster comes out of you because you got the power. I say it's not the power that corrupts you. The seed of corruption is already inside you. The seed of corruption is already inside me. The tyrant, the dictator, the murderer, the seed of it is already inside me. By putting me in that position, you're cultivating and you're creating the environment for it to come out. We all have that inside ourselves. Some of you may say, well, not me. I would never do anything like that. The mind wants to come and say, I would not do anything like that but it's already in you, it's in me. We all have it inside us. It's the environment. Which environment do you grow up in? Which environment is conducive to bring you to the light and ta or take you to the dark? It's in you. You have to admit it. and recognize it, that it's inside yourself. Because if you want to be one, you have to also acknowledge your dark side. People talk about, how many of you think killing is a bad thing to do, to kill someone? Raise your hand. How many people think killing is a bad thing? And how many of you thinking killing other human beings is a good thing? I'm the only one who has my hand up. Well, killing other people is not good or bad. Killing other human beings all depends on your garment, what kind of clothing you wear. Fashion, clothes, did you know that? You ever knew that depending on what kind of clothing you're wearing, that, if that determines if it's okay to kill other people or not okay. Just what you wear, clothes. Did you know that? Did you ever think of that? 